Hello and welcome to round 10 of the Bozra MSA GT3 Championship which comes to you from Watkins Glen on the classic boot version of this track which is the one without the chicane. Uh, my name is Jason Dilworth, I'm joined by Simon Underhill as usual yeah. for co-commentary. Hi Simon. Good evening Jason, you alright? Great, thank you. Would you take us through qualification? I certainly will. We have Craig Parks, um, not a unusual person on pole position with a 145.5. Ben Hackerson, the winner of the last race for Bosra in his uh, Seagate Mercedes, 145.532. Such a close um, gap between first and second. Barry Bard and then Jason Dilworth, yourself uh, for Acorn Printing, third and fourth respectively. Then we have T Taylor Lane in his privateer Audi at 146.2. Myself in sixth for Synology. Paul Walmsley in his privateer Mercedes at 146.3. Then we have Alan McCain in the BMW, Dion Phillips in the Audi, Neil Bamber in the BMW. Back of the grid, you see Rolf Just in 16th in the privateer Mercedes, 147.8. And we have Mark Woodhouse in the only McLaren for Bosra Championship at 148.0. Ricky Green and Jonathan Beres in 19th. Then we have Ian Thorne uh, in 20th. And we have Daniel Honey-Smith, who hasn't raced for a couple of races now, in a Bowden Solutions Audi at 148.8. Chris Butterhill, the boss, in the 56 car, 148.85. And Daniel Bailey, Martin Brandon, and then back of the grid, Dave White and Marion Bradshaw in his 56, I think it is, Mercedes. Not setting the time. Jason. Yeah, so I think this is going to be a great race. And uh, to keep up with us, follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe right here on this YouTube channel. But without further ado, let's get to the start. Excited, Simon? I am, this is one of my favourite tracks and I think this is going to be a really good race and hopefully a clean one too. Off they go and I think that might have been a jump start from Barry Bard there but otherwise it looks like everyone's got cleanly away, Craig's carrying that lead into the first corner, well, there was a three wide a little bit further back, not sure who that involved but uh, everyone's got through clean. You know what, I've just noticed the McLaren doesn't have headlights that are on but here's this section and it's all getting a bit bunched up. Uh, Acorn yeah, it printing yeah. cars right next to each other. Look at those four. That's Barry, myself, yourself, and no. uh, Neil. Behind you, Neil Bamba. So, oh, Bashi Van Delden, sorry. Yeah. Oh, look at <laughs> There's a lot of people going. That's Alan McCain, isn't it? Anyway, here's that jump start we were talking about. Yeah, yeah he definitely the goes. Back of ben Ackerson's car, yeah, as you can see. And it looks like he knew he was doing it and then just went with it. It, it already happened, so you might as well go. Now, I don't know how much of this we're going to see, but then. Because of that, Ben and Barry are now too wide, which means Barry slows down because this part is not good to go too wide through. I then have to slow down a bit, and that's what bunches everyone up through the next straight. So, oh, I'm bored Dan Bailey, and we see is that Ricky oh, Green and Chris Butterill. It's uh, Chris Butterill getting a massive spin on, and yeah, taking out Ian, or not taking him out, but collecting him on the way through. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, Chris and yeah. Yeah. Just missing Dan and then the, the, the Dave White that? and Marion Bradden at the back. Yeah, Martin managing Martin to Bradden just Bradden. slow the car right down and uh, avoid the accident, which is great. And a moment of silence, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I, d I didn't know he was going to show that. I just uh, take a little... Uh, anyway, on with the race. Um, who Paul are we Martin following here? Following here. Yeah, Paul Martin, and that's uh, John Beresford behind, and Daniel, Daniel Honeysmith. Just on the inside, just taps Paul Martin and spins him around. Unfortunately, Paul, um, looks like he's going to collect it together and carry on. In the wars, though, past couple of rounds. Yeah. On board with Alan McCain, looking back at Paul Wormsley, this is 5th and 6th. Did Alan just touch the wall there? He definitely had to said, get out yeah. of it. I said he would have done, uh, considering the, the, the speed that um, Paul Wormsley caught him up. Definitely would have said he tapped, tapped the wall there. Yeah, so Mark Woodhouse under attack from Daniel Honeysmith. He goes super late on the brakes. Too late on the brakes as it happens, and Mark just calmly cuts back in and regains his place. A bit of, a bit of action. Yeah, we just see um, Ben Hackerson and Craig Parks just behind Barry Bard. He's only oh, probably Paul Walmsley and Alan McCain just behind Barry Bard. Barry coming in to serve his penalty for his jump start, I presume. Yeah, lap one. I don't know how long you get to serve that penalty, uh, but he's choosing to take it early. Uh, got John Beresford here being 
overtaken by Ricky Green. Good move. It's uh, for 14th position. Yeah, Rolf Just. Is that Rolf Just it's going through as well? Yeah, I think so. And uh, it, it seems to have just put John o uh, off a little bit. And he's lost three and now potentially four places in that one moment. On board now with Dion Phillips, Alan McCain and Paul Wormsley in front. Alan in fourth here, great position. And but under attack from Dion who makes the move cleanly. I think that's Alan making sure to leave enough room, knowing that he can take this attack on down this straight and there's a hard breaking zone at the end, but we're not going to see it. So on board with uh, Simon Underhill. You seem to be back here recovering from something. I'm not sure whether we saw it. That, yeah, it'll be our, our crash. <laughs> oh, was that, that's right, yeah, no, it was that one we were speaking about, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, that, that one. Um, on board now with Martin Galenicki. Using that draft on Neil Bamba. Can he do it on the brakes? They're super close. They're both in BMWs. No one's got the advantage, but he has managed to make that move stick. And that's a great move, really, from Martin. Well done. Oh, oh just leaves Dave White there. Dave White trying to keep out of the way through that section is very difficult to do. And uh, I think Alan and uh, Dion were caught up in that as well by the looks of it. Going to go three wide, is he? Oh, it's oh, is he on the grass. <laughs> it's it looked like it could have yes, been. Yes, he made it stick. And that's a really, really brave manoeuvre on Alan there. Yeah, super brave. And... Just oh, on as well. taking the opportunity to take them both who I think must have been um, somewhat held up uh, held up's the wrong word by Dave but just couldn't get past him quick enough and it's put Dion, Dion off and he's stuck it into the barrier at high speed and luckily yeah, for like everyone else maybe got into the dirty air of, um, of the car there and unfortunately just lost a bit of traction yeah absolutely it can happen when some, one of those crazy surprise overtakes happens like that like that brilliant manoeuvre from Martin, you can put you off and you try too hard and that potentially is what happens there. On the following Simon Underhill here, yourself again and... I get it wrong, I yeah. position. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, luckily I was right by the two barriers. Yeah, yeah. yeah I didn't have to take too much of a, uh, a loss. That's, that's uh, always useful. Neil Bamba and Alan McCain both trying to get past Martin. Is Neil going to sneak through the middle? I'd be having a look there, but he's very cleverly decided to back out of it. Alan positioning his car perfectly there to stop uh, and, and get the defence. Oh. oh, no, that was a shame. Always a struggle. Yeah, Isn't I can see what... a different angle? Are we going to see? Yes, yeah, do, yes. you can see that Martin's just thinking, I've been overtaken by a car and I'm trying to get back onto my racing line. Just looks like he didn't know that Neil was there. It happens, but... Unfortunately, we'll be a little bit more aware. It's, it, it's accidents happen though, and that was definitely one of those. I'm sure he was having a great race. He'll be gutted. Taylor Lane here on Phil Gregory making the Phil, move. Yeah, yeah. Phil still, I think, having some braking problems with his uh, equipment. So I think he's just making a sensible move and letting Taylor through. Yeah, from what I understand, he presses the pedal the same amount each time, and it breaks a different amount. So that's that's going to be really difficult to deal with. Anyway, Barry Bard coming back from that early penalty. Yeah, Rolf having a great race here in uh, 12th position, Jason. Yeah, must be said. He's got uh, that golf livery on there, changed the look of his car, and uh, maybe it's given him some extra speed, but he's definitely doing well. Daniel Honeysmith not having the same sort of race, unfortunately. Oh, who's that just missed? That, that's Paul Walmsley. Paul Walmsley. Isn't he? Yeah, he's just managed to get round. Luckily, and uh, Daniel's managed to creep it round into the pits. I'm not sure where he might have got an unsafe entry for that. Anyway, Neil Bamba, after that earlier mishap, taking yeah, on Paul Martin, who's also got a nice scratch down the side of that car. Tough place to make an overtake there, but he's made it stick. It's really yeah. slippery there, isn't it? Yeah, Neil on a recovery drive here. Obviously, you've seen he's had a bit of a nightmare so far this race. We're only 10 laps in as well, so he's got a lot of the race to go to try and make some positions up. Yeah, lots of uh, unfortunate incidents so far early on in this race, but here's one that looks like it might be pretty good, which is Matty Van Delden on Ryan Walker. Completely clean, no touching, and hopefully both of them end up 
staying on the track. They do. So, congratulations, guys. Um, Danny Bailey trying to come back on Rick, Ricky Green. Yeah, Danny, Danny Bailey, is some, his performance is improving race by race. So, as you can see, you know, if you look a bit very back at the beginning of this championship, Dan Bailey, he's um, now starting to make some, manu uh, some moves on people. So, yeah, congratulations, Dan. Yeah, I think that's the first time that he's... Um, pulled off an overtake at least in one of the replays um, I don't know whether he's done it in other races but that shows real signs of improvement really great to see Taylor Lane and Ryan Walker going at it Ryan managing to hold the no he doesn't hold the position Taylor making that stick around the outside somehow so great manoeuvre yeah, myself and Martin Brandon um, I'm just getting a toe off the S's into the back straight um, just taking the, the race in line yeah, he's given that position up, knowing that that speed differential. You can see what the uh, slipstream and a good exit does there, everyone, because that's the same car, same performance, and uh, you've just breezed past. Anyway, uh, on board, well, not on board, are we? We're following Craig Parks and Ben Hackson at the front of this race, just as they were last time out at Brands Hatch. There's nothing between them at this point in the race. Dion Phillips got a big old dent in the front of that car and he's about to put Never. another one in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the side lost his bonnet completely. I think he's having a bit of a nightmare. One race for him to forget this one. Yeah, luckily there's drop weeks for the worst two rounds, I believe it is, in this championship. Um, we we're following Mr Woodhouse here in 10th. Really doing well in this sole McLaren in the series. Massively improved as well recently. I know there's been issues in front, but... It's a, a tenth place. It's well deserved. We've got uh, Ricky Green and yourself both in those Synology car. Uh, yeah, Synology cars. Yeah, Synology um, BMWs. Say so Ricky just letting myself through, knowing I'm a bit quicker. Um, just trying out again on another recovery drive. But, uh, great delivery of the Synologies, and it's good to see them together as well. Yeah, don't often see uh, you two that close on track, so it's good to see those two cars together. On board with Neil, and I can't see any... Oh, that's, there is someone else. That's right, Matty Van Delden. Delden. Is he coming out of the pits, or was that a massively brave move around the outside? I think that must have been out of the pits. Phil Gregory up in fifth at this moment in time. Says he's in the pits. Oh, looks like he's about to go in there. It was a late decision by the looks of it. I was going to say, was that a pit uh, penalty? I'm not sure. What well, do you get uh, one for that? Would you, Jason? I would uh, would imagine you do. I'm not never sure about that pit entry because it's so um, lax, really, to get into it. But maybe you got away with it. And Ackerson. Oh, that was, who was that? He was overtaking. That was Ricky. That a huge amount Ricky. more speed. I know that um, it was only a lapped car, but it <laughs> shows the speed that the fast guys at the front have. Craig Parks here in second, second place. place. Going past Ben, who's in the pits there. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's right, yeah. So I'm bored with Ben now. And all you can see there, Craig Parks just taking the position back. Still going to be relatively close. A couple of seconds in it. But, uh, yeah, Craig making sure that, that happens. I know that Ben had been massively fuel saving through this, so Craig was a little bit worried. Uh, and I know he will have breathed a sigh of relief to be that far in front after the pit stop. Looking back at Alan McCain from Neil Bamber's car here. Really good viewpoint. That. Oh, on board with Neil Bamber, looking back at Matty Van Delden's. These, these are the, these are the what I call the Bozzer brothers, the guys that have been always been there, always been together. Very, very um, comparable. The Big slide. Style. Yeah, big slide from Neil. Uh, but they are massively comparable on pace. They've uh, traded paint a lot, um, but in a really good and sporting way. Rolf just here, myself on that recovery drive. Um, Rolf was having such a good race, and trying to get past him was more difficult than potentially it has been in the past. So he was really performing well, and this overtake was one where I really didn't want to mess it up and collect him. So to have that end up being clean into 12th place Rolf still in a really good 13th place another Acorn Solutions BMW uh, Ian Thorne like we say last time he's he's back but he's got a lot of damage on that front right by the looks of it yeah or, um, I think that may be a contemplative factor to the reason why he's hit the barrier there yeah he's now got a fair bit of damage on the front left as well 
not as pretty as it was that car now but Ryan Walker coming out of the last turn this is lap 25 seven laps since his pit you can see all that information on the bottom right the goes up into six yeah. you can see in the yeah. background so relatively late on pit stops for these guys Rolf you're following uh, that move from a lap previous yeah, just like you said, Rolf was really difficult to pass on this circuit. He must have had a really good setup, and um, you know it showed with the diff how difficult it was to pass him. Yeah, putting a lot of practice in as well. I know that he's uh, he's working hard on making sure that he's getting some better results here, and it just shows what some hard work will do. Ricky Green and Paul Martin here. Paul taking a really tight line, too tight, breaks on the grass and takes Ricky out. Unfortunately, Ricky. Yeah, such a shame. Ending up worse off, yeah. Bending that nice Synology car we've been speaking about earlier. And is that Craig going past, I think? Yep, going yep, back past. Yeah, that way, yeah. Lapping him. Looking back from Phil Gregory's car, Martin Galenicki, who'd had a really good race up to now. He's in ninth position, going for eighth. I know that Phil potentially is having brake issues, and these guys are our teammates, different cars. Uh, you can see they're both Bowden Solution cars so I'm sure that they were trying their hardest not to touch there at all but Martin gets it done gets it done cleanly and uh, will now probably drag Phil around for a couple of laps a couple of motorsport ocean cars so Matty, Van, Matty Van Delden and Alan McCain just in front there and oh spinning uh, is that Ricky Green? Uh, uh, Ryan Walker Ryan Walker sorry uh, yeah, yeah. It, that was all for position and I was just about to mention that those all three of them were having a great race, 4th, 5th and 6th, and um, that's a really unfortunate bit of uh, touch there. Here we are with Craig Parks, this must be right towards the end of the race now, I think we might be following him round until the end, is this the last lap? He's uh, kept that car in great condition and kept it in front. Gregory <laughs> back on Ma um, Martin Glenicky. Yeah, having to. another go, just saying about teammates trying to keep it clean they are keeping it clean but I'm sure that um, they won't be <laughs> they shouldn't probably be fighting this hard this late on in the race but it's great to see getting to mix this as well yeah really close after after 30 laps are oh, but uh, Phil he, has had yeah, those brake issues yeah you can tell he's having some brake issues yeah. yeah Taylor taking the position and you can see that's happened again for Phil he's trying to get it slowed down keeps it out of the back of Taylor's car very well indeed Matty Van Delden probably just sniffing that out and seeing whether he can take a place as well. Ryan Walker after that mishap a couple of laps ago, getting overtaken by Barry Bard around the outside. Is that the last corner? No, it's not. It's into that carousel part. But a great move again. He likes those outside manoeuvres, doesn't he, when he's doing these recovery drives? Yeah, yeah, he's, um, he's quick around the outside, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. So here we are with uh, Craig, and this is him yeah. taking the win. You can see the flash of the headlights. Does he go over to his pit, guys? No, he ignores them completely, but uh, a great win. And um, Ben Hackerson not far behind at all, but uh, ultimately another commanding victory for Craig in this series, really showing where the pace is. Um, yeah. Overall, lots of incidents in that race. We've seen better racing, but... Um, Ultimately, good results for Craig Parks, Ben Hackson and Paul Wormsley taking the top three positions. Alan McCain, Barry Bard, Ryan Walker managing to get those fourth, fifth and sixth positions. You can see the rest of the results right there. So, not too bad at all. Do we see the driver standings after this? I'm sure we do. You can see uh, in the meantime the rest of the results. Driver standings, how are they? Yeah, Ben Hackson still in top spot uh, with Paul Wormsley behind. Craig Parks gained three places there, now in back into third, or into third, with 142. Only one point separating him and yourself, Jason. Then we have Matty Van Delden and Neil Bamber in fifth and sixth. Yeah, back lots of, of movement. Grid. Yeah, yeah, you can see Rolf just up three places, Taylor Lane up two, and uh, Paul Martin up three as well. So some real good uh, moves up the table. Uh, some real good driving from, from a lot of people this week. Yeah, a race like that can have massive differences on the overall standings. The uh, team standings, again, I think Seagate closing that uh, gap 
again down to just 15 points with uh, a few races to go uh, i think there's four to go at this point most ball auctions Bowden solutions 56 and synology that's the team standings they haven't changed but there's been a bit of a, a closing of that gap right at the top that's that and we next we go to round 11 twin ring motegi east now that's a bit of a different circuit than usual uh, looking forward to it simon yes it should be a challenge like you say different circuit new new challenges let's see how it goes absolutely so thank you for watching click the like button hit subscribe and we'll see you at twin ring motegi east thank you for watching